<laughs> hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to set up FTP or enable an FTP server on your 1.76 firmware PS4, as well as how to change some of the icons on your home screen. Uh, these two are the ones I'll be able to edit, Playroom and Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, so really just the ones you install. These ones, um, we can't change with this method. However, we're just going to be doing two things in one with this tutorial. Now, first off, you are going to need a PS4 on 1.76 firmware, or at least if this is later on and there are higher exploitable firmwares out in the same way, you're going to need a exploitable console. Right now, this method is only working on 1.76, so if it gets updated, you know, I'll update the title, I might even make a new tutorial, but for the most part, this is only on 1.76 right now. Now, to do this, this is also assuming that you have set up the PS4 WebKit exploit and enabled the permanent internet browser, which if you have not done that, I'm going to have a link down below in the description to my tutorial, which can get you up to speed and shows you how to set up the internet browser on there. So, assuming you have all that set up, what you're going to need to do is, of course, connect your PS4 uh, to your network, and you're going to want to go over to network. Once this loads up right here, we're going to go over to view connection status, and you want the IP address, so we're going to want to keep that on hand. And then what you want to do is you want to go over to your internet browser. Again, you need to make sure that you have this enabled just to make it easier. And you want to go to this website up top right here, which is f-x.fr slash ps4. You can look that up or you can go to the website directly. And then all you need to do right here is go down to launch FTP. You end up hitting that. It's going to wait. It's going to say waiting for payload and it's just going to stay like that. Now don't exit out of this and let's go ahead and go over to our computer. So now that we're over at our computer, this is assuming that you have not done this before. So now to get into FTP and such on your PS4, you're going to need an FTP client. I use FileZilla and this is quite easy to use. You can go here to site manager and create a site, but if you just want to get in quickly for the host, you want to put in your PS4's host name so or uh, the host IP. So it would be 192.168.1.157 of course for me it might be different for you uh, your username password you don't need any and your port is 1337 hit quick connect and there you go on the right side your ps4 has now shown up now you can go ahead and modify and manipulate whatever you want to on here but what we're going to be doing is we are going to be for this example modifying the icons and such so for that if you want to do this specifically you need to go to user once this loads in, might take a few seconds, go to app meta, and you're going to see the install directories that you have right here. This one's going to be Playroom, this one is Grand Theft Auto 5. What I'd recommend doing is take both of these and drag and drop them onto a folder somewhere on your computer. You could either have it set up on the left right here, navigate to it, or you can just drag and drop right here. So this way, it's going to back up these files right here, uh, just the files that are displayed on the PS4's main menu, and you can do whatever you want to. So now if we mess up anything, we can just restore it back over, and it's fine. Now what we're going to do is, let's go ahead and go into, this one's Grand Theft Auto 5 for example. I'm going to double click this, and you're going to see several things right here. Um, and we can even view them on uh, this page. So if we go in here, as you can see, these are uh, your photos and such that load in. This is like the loading icon right there. Uh, and then this is what we want to modify, the icon 0.png. Now it needs to be a PNG file and the dimensions need to be 512 by 512 pixels. So you're going to need to, to take a image that is either that size or you're going to need to resize it. I have one right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop this over. I'm going to override it just because that's what we want to do. And then, now that that's the only modification I've done, I'm going to disconnect off of there. Now back over at the PS4, all we need to do is, if we go back here, you're going to see that nothing has changed. To reflect this change, you will need to reboot your PS4, so let's just go ahead, turn off the PS4, and turn it back on. And now just turn your PS4 back on, and we're going to wait a few seconds for it to boot into the menu, and when we see this, we're logging in, and what are we going to see right here? It should come up. There we go. Not Grand Theft Auto 5. We have Stomity. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the only reason why I got an exploitable PS4 just to do this. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. If this tutorial helps you all out, a like would very much be appreciated. And if you absolutely hated it because you don't like the legendary meme right here, a dislike is fine as well, too.